Thank you. Well, one of the most tragic stories of the last few days has come from Birmingham, where three young men were killed when they were hit by a car. The father of one of them, Tarek Jahan, played a key role in stopping any revenge attacks. He's been appealing for calm once again this morning. If the people are listening, then please, for God's sake, give it up. Stop this, this um, rioting and looting for no reason. I've said this a hundred times, you're not achieving anything, you know. People are losing their livelihoods, their homes. Uh, I've lost my family, you know. I don't know how to explain to people, you know. I've already said to you, uh, if you value your children, keep them at home, keep them off the streets, you know, uh, to, to parents. And to the, to the kids, if you're listening to uh, a grey-bearded old fella that you have no respect for, then try and understand this. When you're my age, you will look back at your lives and think how, how stupid you were. Well, I'm joined by Shabana Mahmoud, the Labour MP for the area. She's been in close contact with the family. Good afternoon to you, Shabana. Um, Tarek Jahan was held up as an example by both the Prime Minister and the Labour leader, Ed Miliband, wasn't uh, he, during that session in the Commons, as an example of how Britain should be and how we should respond. How important was his intervention, that speech we heard from him last night? His intervention last night was absolutely crucial to making sure that we were able to um, maintain order and calmness um, on the streets of Birmingham last night. We had a very quiet night and um, I place that um, basically down to the intervention of Tarek Jahan. His speech was dignified he was calm. Um, throughout the day he'd been coming out and addressing uh, groups of young men who'd gathered, for example, outside a commu community meeting that I was facilitating. We couldn't take everybody inside. There were lots of people outside. There was a threat that it might get worse and there might be some trouble. And Tarek Jahan turned up and he just said to everybody, calm down, go home. Uh, his line was, this is not a race issue, but there have been simmering racial tensions in the area for some time, haven't there? Um, could have come, it came to a tragic head on Tuesday night, it could have been a lot worse is what you're saying, isn't it? Yeah, we were all we were all very, very concerned um, that there might have been uh, the potential for things to um, go down a sort of race uh, line last night in particular but, um, you know, we were able to maintain calm. There is, there has been a history of, of trouble um, in recent years, um, in not not in the Winston Green area in particular but in the neighbouring areas and there was a, there was a real concern that that might um, flare up again uh, last night but as I said um, the intervention of Tarek Jahan the the work we had done with the community throughout the day uh, the liaison between police and members of the community who'd actually seen the incident or arrived in the immediate aftermath that was all crucial to making sure that actually we were able to maintain calm last night you've been in close contact with the whole family not just Tarek Jahan how are they coping well obviously everybody is devastated and um, the community in Winston Green is incredibly tight-knit um, they see each other as family everybody's an aunt or an uncle a brother or a sister and lots of people who uh, live there knew the young men uh, or their families and everyone's absolutely devastated obviously I saw both mothers who were unable to speak um, you know they were so anguished at the loss of their sons uh, one of the young men uh, has a uh, has left behind a wife who's pregnant um, so you know obviously she was in a in a really bad way and obviously our hearts go out to them what kind of support are they getting from the community um, a lot, a lot of people in the community are rallying around. There's a huge amount uh, of people who are uh, talking to the family, just giving them emotional support. Um, obviously, um, in, in uh, accordance with Islamic tradition, uh, the family tends to sit for in the mosque um, for people to be able to go along and pay their condolences and prayers take place. Uh, prayers were taking place throughout the day yesterday and in the evening as well, and that will obviously continue until we are able to get the bodies released and have burials. Now, you were in the House of Commons for the Prime Minister's statement earlier on. You're going to be returning for the debate uh, this afternoon. What have you made of what you've heard so far? Um, I think it's important that actually um, all uh, politicians were able to take an opportunity to come together and uh, to condemn the activity that we've seen and also to try and find a way forward. So I think that obviously it was important for the Prime Minister to be able to address the Commons and uh, therefore also the nation, uh, equally important for Ed Miliband, to be able to uh, support um, the condemnation of all these acts that have taken place and also to start asking some serious questions um, about what's happened and also the way forward. Okay. Shabana Mahmoud, thank you. Well, in London, magistrates...